Well, hello friends. If you do not like haul videos, then this video is not for you. I am going to be going over all of my stuff that I just bought for my classroom teaching haul. And yes, you heard correctly. If you have been around my channel, um, a little background, I have four kids and when my youngest was born, I took off from teaching. I had been an English teacher at the middle school level for 10 years and I decided to take a break and stay home with my youngest. So he is now, it's been three years and I just felt God kind of putting on my heart that the time was right to return to teaching, uh, just for several reasons. There was the right job opening and opportunity that was close to my house. Um, it was an opening at a school that my kids will soon be going to in a couple years, some of my uh, middle children. And it just felt right in so many ways and God was swinging open the door. So long story short, I am going back to teaching. I'm going to be a seventh grade English teacher at this new school. And I will tell you, I have all the butterflies in my stomach because I'm excited, but this is new for me because most of my years were spent teaching eighth grade English. So the curriculum will be close, but a little bit different. It's a new school, new staff, new administration. Everything is new to me. And so that's, that's hard. Even if you are an experienced teacher, there's still a big learning curve there. And so I've just been kind of praying through that, releasing it to God and trying to accept the new school year and what it's gonna bring. But one of the you know, pro con things um, is when I left teaching three years ago, I gave away pretty much everything I had to my fellow co-workers. I didn't know how long my time staying home with my children would be. I'm kind of a minimalist in my home. I don't like to store a lot of stuff. And I also am trying to be a little bit minimal in my classroom. We'll see if you believe that or not after going through this video. <laughs> um, I say I'm more of an intentional person, maybe an intentionalist um, than minimal. I try to be very intentional with each purchase and make sure it's the exact like prime thing that I would have wanted versus some substitute that I don't like. So, um, but yeah, I have pretty much nothing going back into the school room and I decided to go shopping to stock up on all of the basics or what I consider the necessities um, and a few extra fun things as well that I'll show you guys. I will try to link as much of it as I can below. Um, a lot of this stuff I just got from Amazon Prime Day. They marked a lot of things down. I know that's past now, but if you're a teacher, you know, watch out for those days or sales or right now with back to school sales and see if you can stock up on a lot of essentials. I know we all know about that. Um, so I wanna first start with the thing I'm wearing. This is uh, my lanyard for the new year and I found this on Amazon. I got it on Prime Day. And again, I'll link all this stuff below, but I like it because, so when I found out I would be teaching this year, I was at the beach. I was actually on vacation with my husband. And so I just felt this incredible sense of peace about it, sitting in the sand, looking at the ocean. So I decided that my theme this year would be coastal. So kind of a just light, airy, bright, you know, ocean type theme. I love those colors you can see. This is in my house, this is in our office, in our house, and I love just this color even behind me. It's that very like coastal theme color. So Amazon had this lanyard, it's very comfy. I've been wearing it, it's got some wood beads, and then it's also got these kind of coastal looking beads at the bottom, and I just really liked this. So that's gonna be my daily lanyard that I'll be wearing with the students. Um, and we put our IDs on the bottom and our keys. The next thing I picked out is if you are ever in South Carolina in Myrtle Beach, so where I live, all of the teacher stores have shut down. They can't really stay in business, um, but that's where I was on vacation when I found out I got the job and we looked up if there was any teacher stores nearby. I always love to do that. If I'm traveling to any city, I Google that. And there was, there was one store called a Teacher's Touch and it was fantastic. So if you're ever down there, I highly recommend it. The staff was so nice and helpful, and I found a lot of my stuff from there. And maybe some of this can be found online. I do think that some of it was cheaper at that store. So I stocked up and I asked them, I said, how do you all stay in business? She said 80% of their sales are from tourists and people coming out of town 
that stock up on their teacher stuff. So I thought that was fascinating. So I went to the border section of their store and I picked out these very neutral. I love the just calm colors for a coastal theme, these borders. So this one was, um, and these are from Teacher Created Resources. Again, if I can find them online, I'll link them. This was like a sage green border. I thought that was so pretty and it's called Classroom Cottage Sage Green Stripes. I love that because that also kind of describes my style as coastal cottage. And then there was this one and I just think this is so fun. It's kind of like, I don't know, a mix between seashells and coral reef and pom-poms <laughs> and just a pretty tan neutral color. And this is called Natural Palms. So that's one of the borders I'm gonna use. And then I just saw this and I could not pass it up. It's a gingham check in neutral colors. It's so cute. It's called Craft Buffalo Check. So I've just got a few different neutral borders and I like to sometimes layer them. So I might have like this green behind the natural palms just to have a contrast for bulletin boards or around my whiteboards. I just love that. So I got plenty of those because they were from the teacher store and I won't be driving back to the beach anytime soon. So I wanted to stock up. The next thing I got from there so I've used this in my classroom before. Um, it's called Better Than Paper Bulletin Board Paper. And it's kind of a vinyl material. You're supposed to be able to write on it with uh, dry erase markers and erase them. I've tried that before. I, I don't know, years ago in my classroom, I hung one up and did a conversation corner. Unfortunately, I waited too late to erase the kids' writing off of it, and it was really hard for me to remove the writing. Maybe if you erase it right away, it would work for that, but I would recommend just using it for decor. I don't know, maybe I was doing it wrong, but I loved they had this design at the teacher store and this is called Light Maple Wood. So I thought, how pretty will this green with the maple wood and then just kind of picture it guys, the palms, how pretty will all of this just natural colors look? And so I'm gonna line my bulletin boards with this. Um, if I have extra, sometimes I'll make a display behind my desk that's like a command station where I'll put the schedule and um, important phone numbers to call. Like if you ever have a sub, they don't know who to call in your school if they need help. So I'll list phone numbers and I'll, I'll list a few, you know, detailed things in, a, in my command center. So this is just really great to use that for and that's going as part of decor. And then also the store had these. So I used these before um, on my whiteboards. I really love them. They are a border, but they're magnetic. So these are really neat um, to create like, I mean, some teachers use washi tape, but to create squares or sectioned off spaces on your dry erase like magnetic boards, uh, I like to put like learning targets in them or another thing I've used them for is I will create a materials needed spot and I print off pictures of the materials I want my kids to have each day and I put a magnet on the back of them and laminate them and put them in a square on my board. So I'm going to use these to make that square. So there's that. And I got two of them <laughs> stocking up. and. That I think was most of what I, oh, I was gonna say what I got from the teacher store, but I forgot to show you the posters. So this was um, a type of kind of design or style they had down there of posters. And look, it has the palms at the top that match. And I thought this was so cute. It said classroom rules, be ready to learn, listen and follow directions, raise your hand to speak, be kind, and respectful, make good choices, always do your best, learn from your mistakes, be brave and try new things, believe in yourself. So I don't always like the generic pre-created rules. I mean, sometimes we have our own, but I thought this one was pretty good and it matched my style. So I'm gonna laminate this and hang it in my classroom. And then they had these posters and I like these to kind of put around the room just with different decor. So obviously teaching English, this says reading is always a good idea. If I can zoom out a little bit. Nope, it's not gonna let me. So you can see it. I'll just back up to here. Uh, so reading is a good idea, but it's in those light, soft, neutral colors. 
I loved this one. This might even be cute to like hang on my door as kids enter. It says, you are brave, you're kind, you're capable, you're honest, you're smart, you're worthy, you're enough, you're helpful, you're strong, you're loved. So even if you don't get this set of posters, these are really neat sayings to put on posters in your classroom, especially if you make them from scratch. So I like this one. We can do hard things. I'm so happy you're here. This one would be cute on the door entering my classroom. And I love this one, progress over perfection, has those same palms on it. Um, again, all of these came from that teacher store in Myrtle Beach, so I thought it was really, really uh, nice supply. And then we do a thing with behavior. If a student is acting up, they get sent to another room to take a break. They fill out a reflection form, the other teacher signs off of it, and they can come back into our room. And so all the teachers on a team have that spot for a kid to come in and tab out is what we call it. And I loved this poster for that tab out spot, just, you know, when they're kind of staring at a wall, um, thinking about their behavior. And it says, I can control my words, my actions, my choices, my thoughts, and myself. And I just, I love that for reflection. So those are my posters. I don't like to overwhelm my room with too many posters. So I may not even put all of those up this year. I might save some for the following year. Um, but I am excited for how those look. All right, so the next thing I have, these I think are the coolest thing ever. They are giant pieces of notebook paper that are dry erase. So it comes just like as a poster, but it's a giant piece of notebook paper. And I think as an English teacher, I really like geek out on this because I think these are fun to show kids how they can head their paper, um, if you're doing an essay, like we teach argumentative essays, you can give them ideas on this giant paper of like a, an opening statement or attention getters, but I just, I love this to write on and then you can wipe it off and keep it on your wall. So I got a couple of those just to have on hand for that. Even if I like attach them to my whiteboard, I thought that's awesome. Okay, so I originally picked up these as well. They're like a dry erase cloud pattern. I thought these would be really cool. You know how sometimes you put things over fluorescent lights in a classroom because some kids, the fluorescent lights give them headaches. Um, the lighting is just too much. Even me as an adult, I get headaches looking at it. So I got two of those, but then later I found this, which I think is so neat. I can dig for it in the bottom of my bucket. <laughs> I've got a giant Rubbermaid container full of supplies. Um, that was on, uh, available. Oops. Okay, this container was available at Aldi's. I'll show you what I'm looking at right here. And this has been so nice. I've got everything stashed in here to take into my classroom. And it all is fitting really nice and neat right now, except I'm about to <laughs> I'm about to dig into it. Um, so, let me pull this out first. Okay, so I do want to show you guys, Costco was selling this neutral basket kit. And if you don't have a lot of storage baskets or if you're just starting off, this is just awesome. It came with, um, it has a big one or two big ones inside of it it has let's see if I can show you here it had a small tray so it's got two of the big trays a small tray it has a bunch of these little storage buckets like this one I've got pins and scissors in right now I mean these are great for going in your desk drawer they had a long bucket for pencils they have a bunch of these short buckets, which are great for like paper clips and binder clips. So for me, since I gave away all my old storage containers and I kind of have a new theme anyways, I just thought this was such a cute neutral kit. Again, it was from Costco and it all came in one for $9.99. I mean, you can't beat that. Like you go to TJ Maxx or somewhere and try and buy all those little things separate, it adds up. So I kept the label, this is what it was called, Mesa Storage Basket Set. I probably won't be able to link it because it was from Costco, 
but it was $9.99. It says it's 11 pieces. So you get 11 storage baskets, which again, these are great. They're great for organizing. They're great for putting handouts in. So that is part of my haul for this year um, to help me organize. I forgot to show you guys too. I picked up these letters from the teacher store to uh, match my posters. I thought those were really cute. But what I've been digging for is this. Okay, so I found this also at that teacher store. It's called Calming Covers. And they had some different designs. They had like a celestial star one. They had one with positive quotes. But these are um, light covers for fluorescent lights that look like clouds, but they have magnets on them. And they're made of fabric, and the fabric is um, heat resistant or certified fire resistant for classrooms. So if you have a school that has really strict codes, it says it's actually certified for use in the hospital, home, office use, and it even has like a code citation. So if your principal or someone gave you issues about it, you could, you could use that. It says it filters out harsh glare, reduces headaches and eye fatigue, creates a fun, calming environment. I mean, who doesn't want to look up at the ceiling when you're zoning out someday <laughs> and see clouds? Um, especially, I haven't been into my new classroom yet, but I've heard that there's no windows. It's kind of one of those interior rooms that can feel a little dark and dingy. Um, so I thought this will brighten it up. So I have these in case I need some extra, and then I have these ceiling covers. Okay. Oh goodness, don't mind uh, my husband's out there cutting grass while I'm doing So just ignore the mower going by in the background. The other thing that I picked up, just speaking of lighting, is I always like to have a cozy type of lamp. Sorry, let me get it, pull it out of there. There we go. So I found this while I was down in Myrtle Beach as well. I just went into like a TJ Maxx and found a discounted lamp. I don't like to spend a lot of money on it, but I thought this was really cute. It had the scalloped shade. I will take this plastic off once it's at school. It had a wide bottom, so it's not easy for kids to knock over. But here's the thing. I learned my lesson early on in teaching. I only keep this for me on my desk for some nice lighting. When I first started teaching, I put several nice lamps in my room, around the room. And with middle schoolers, it might have been a day that I was absent with a sub, but I think they were playing a game in the room and one got knocked over and it got broken. And I just, I felt bad. Like when you spend money on stuff for your classroom, it just makes you feel bad when it gets broken. So I try to save a lot of the cutesy, nice stuff for my desk area. And it's for me, it's my home away from home. But I don't put a lot of that out into the room. Honestly, I try to keep the, those parts of the room, I'll put cute stuff on the walls but I don't add a lot of clutter or things that they can mess with, knock over, destroy, because you've got to think that anything that goes in your room, as excited as you are and as cute as it looks in the beginning, there is a possibility it can get destroyed, kids can write on it, they can rip it. It's just the way it goes. I mean, I've been a middle school teacher for 10 years and I just, I have those expectations. Just know that up front. So speaking of cutesy things, I got this for my desk. Um, I believe that everything should bring you a little bit of joy when you look at it. And so this is to hold my pins. It's not a typical pen holder, but I think it's really cute. And this is the stuff that again, it's not going to be out there by students. It's not for them. This is for me. <laughs> so that when I take a pin out of this and I've got long hours of grading or, you know, whatever I'm doing or work, I feel a little joy. And I thought, how cute are these two colors together? The blue and the lamp. So those two things I got at a TJ Maxx. So those are hit or miss. Um, I can't really link them. You have to kind of go check your local stores, but I would encourage you to go there and find stuff that gives you joy. So, all right, the last of the stuff here, I'll go over, I've got a lot of basic supplies and I don't need to go over all that. Like you buy glue, you buy markers, <laughs> you buy, um, I bought scissors. Now I will say, again I have no supplies left so I needed to restock everything I got all of these scissors from Aldi's um, I don't know if you have one of those near you but they had a bunch right now different colors and I thought these were so cute guys look has a checker print on them 
and that's sage green. So these are in Aldi's stores. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, A-L-D-I-S, right now. And then it comes in a three pack with miniature ones too. So you get three mini ones and three big ones, but I loved those colors. And then they also had them in blue, without checkers, but blue. So I thought that was kind of coastal. So I grabbed both sets of those for my students for restocking. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to some of the stuff I got on Amazon Prime Day. Oh, I'll show you one more thing. I thought these were awesome. I purposely had my husband and I, while we were down on vacation at the beach, because I knew I was gonna have a coastal theme, I said, let's go into all their discount stores and just see if we see anything coastal that I can use for my desk. And I found these. They were on sale. They're very heavy. They're like a marble but I just thought they're so beautiful and they're, they're book weights. So what I'm gonna do is on my desk, you know, I always have binders and stuff with student information, clipboards, um, all kinds of stuff, rosters, <laughs> seating charts, standards, etc. I'm gonna use these to just hold those things upright. I just love having a heavy, you see the tag, I gotta get some goo gone and get that off. I love having something heavy and beautiful to hold that up on my desk. I also picked up a notebook at that same store. Thought this was so cute. I'm a Christian and it had a scripture reference on it. Philippians 2.15, let your lights, I'm sorry, let your lives shine brightly. And then when you open it, it had all these stickers and it's a notebook, but it has tabbed dividers that are super cute. And actually I'm looking at the tag. I forgot, I got this at Ross. So one of those Ross stores. So honestly, I shop for a lot of my teaching supplies, not at the main stores, not like Staples, not, I go to a lot of these discount stores and I find the things that I really like that make me happy, that I think are cute. And that's what I buy. So, cause it's your classroom, you've got to enjoy it. I did pick up these folders at Target. How cute are these neutral, plant folders, so those make me happy. And then also behind me, I got these at Target. They are from Sugar Paper Essentials, but it's a binder, but I'm gonna hold it close so you can see. It's got kind of a woven look to it, but it's not woven, so it's just smooth, but it's a very neutral, pretty color. I loved that, so I got those. Okay, a few other things. Yes, I got that at a Ross store. This was a quote by Mother Teresa. I thought it was so pretty. And I'm gonna put that behind my desk, my command center. So just FYI, if you like any of this stuff, I'm gonna be doing a classroom setup video. So it's coming. Um, you can watch me decorate with all of this and see the final product. So definitely uh, like and subscribe and you'll get notified when that releases. So as soon as I can get in there. I got these buckets at Target, I think, yeah, these are Target. I love these for putting handouts in that kids pick up. And I always like to put uh, laminate and put labels on them, like handout one, handout two, handout three, and just have those on a table for kids to either turn handouts into or pick them up from. So I got four of those. I got, I know I'm really on point with my design this year, but they had neutral colored Kleenex boxes, but also it was the off brand. Target up and up. So I thought those looked like a sandy ocean beach and I was like, I love it. I'm all for it. So my Kleenexes will match. Um, and then let's go over some of my prime day deals that I got. So one of the things that I had wanted for years was a laminator. So I got on Amazon prime day, they had the Scotch Thermal Laminator marked down significantly. So I ordered one of those. A lot of schools have a laminator, but when you have your own, for whatever reason, the sheets that come with it, and I'll show you those, I got those as well. Oh, they're heavy. Um, they're just more durable. They last longer, whereas sometimes the laminating at schools kind of peels back. I don't know, if you've been around teaching a long time, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of the laminating of my new labels in my classroom with this. And then if my school has a laminator, which I don't even know if they do yet or not, 
I will laminate the big posters with that. So this is just really handy to have. So I'm really glad I've added that to my collection. I also got some, oh, not everything has to be pretty, right? I got some white cardstock on uh, Amazon Prime Day to create those labels on my computer and printer and then laminate them. I got these, which I think are the cutest thing ever. So I feel like everything we do should have a little joy. Look at these binder clips. Let me flip them around so you can see. They have little smiley faces on them. So for years, I just had the generic black binder clips and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. If that suits you, because look, I still have some left over. <laughs> some big ones right there. However, I thought, you know, what do I typically binder clip? Student papers, handouts I have to grade. And when I go to open that clip and start grading, will this not just bring a little smile to my face? A little pink smiley face or emoji. So, and then they have the miniature ones too. And I just, I just think these are the cutest. So they had those for sale on Amazon Prime Day. I'll link those below. I also got some more just neutral color generic ones because I honestly I go through these they walk away it's good to have a, a stash of them let's see so there's those I oh don't forget about having some band-aids in your classroom while we were traveling we stopped at that big gas station called Bucky's that everybody's just crazy about um, I don't buy a lot from there, but I did buy some Bucky's Band-Aids and it says, let Bucky make it all better. So when kids come to me and they're like, do you have a Band-Aid? Yep, I've got one with the little Bucky Beaver on <laughs> so they can have that. Uh, I got some dry erase cleaner and then I got this brand from the uh, teacher store. So I've never tried that brand before, but these are nice to have a couple of. Oh, also I'll show you this. I got this little eraser at the teacher store. It's magnetic and it says you belong here. I thought that was so cute. I got these from Costco. They are Swedish dishcloths. They sell them in a 12 pack. So I actually like to use these when I really want to clean my whiteboard thoroughly um, instead of just wasting a bunch of paper towels. These have multiple uses. You can take them home and wash them, sanitize them, throw them in your washer, dryer, and then take them back. And they, their texture, is actually really nice it cleans the board really well especially with these so that's just an alternative thing I got myself some lotion from Bucky's I did I did buy something from Bucky's I, I always like to have a really nice smelling lotion on my teacher desk because often I'm sanitizing my hands a lot throughout the day and they get dried out so it's just nice to have a few things for yourself I grabbed some essentials at Costco. They have these big post-it pads on sale. I love, I think actually these are $12.99 right now, which is a really good price for 10 of them. Um, I love these to put in my planner and my planner this year I ordered from online, so it's not here yet. Uh, but to do my to-do list, like a checklist to check off. I got some basic pencils. I got a fun white wavy mirror from Aldi's. You don't typically want to put a mirror out by students because they will go nuts and be distracted. Some people have them in their classrooms, I don't. But in my last classroom, I had kind of a closed closet door where I stored my purse and materials and I like to have a mirror in there so that in the morning if I need to do a quick check, make sure everything looks okay. Make sure I don't have something in my teeth. It was nice, it was nice to have it. Or on picture day, sometimes the kids would want to look in a mirror and I would just open that up and say, okay, you can look for a minute and then we're shutting it. Um, I don't know if my new room's gonna have a closet or not, but this was only a couple bucks at Aldi's. So I got it. If I don't have a spot to put it, my backup plan is to put it in my little girl's room here at my house because they would love a mirror, so. All right. Oh. These I got from the teacher store, adhesive magnetic squares. These are awesome because again, one side's sticky, the other side's a magnet. I'm going to print and laminate little pictures of materials that my students need. Um, and I'm gonna stick them up on the whiteboard with these magnetic squares. I also like to put signs on the magnetic squares. Those are great. 
giant bag of whiteout from Costco Sam's Club. I like to go to those places to stock up on a lot of the essentials you need more in bulk. I also went there and got like a big pack of Expo markers. Uh, let's see, the last of the things that I got, I wanted to show you all this. So if you have a great idea for hanging student work, um, awesome, you know, don't change a system that already works for you. But I tried a bunch of different stuff throughout the years and couldn't find something that was easy for me. So uh, three years ago, before I left teaching, I felt like I finally mastered the system and then I left teaching. Um, so I hung ribbon on my walls. That was my new system. I hung ribbon, I actually like hot glued it at certain points in little loops on my walls. And then I just got clothespins, just generic clothespins and stuck it on the ribbon. And anytime we would do a new unit, um, it was a way that I could hang a lot of papers on the wall because as a middle school teacher, I have 120 students. And so that won't fit in a bulletin board, but often like there's usually one long wall that you have or maybe around the, um, what is that called? The top area of your room, <laughs> like a border. Uh, you might have a lot of space there and you don't want any kid to feel left out, like their paper wasn't good enough to make the cut. So anyways, I found Sam's Club had a bunch of their spring ribbon marked down. It's only a couple bucks. Normally they charge like $12 or something for one of these rolls. There's 50 yards of the ribbon. And even though it was spring ribbon, they had a lot of neutral colors. They had this neutral polka dot, this neutral like floral pattern. Uh, I love this one. This really pretty green stripe. That looks just like my borders, doesn't it? I mean, maybe it's a little darker. Let's see, let's compare. Okay, it's not quite the same color. <laughs> doesn't always match up perfectly, but that's okay. And they had this. They had this really pretty pinstripe and that just 100% makes me think coastal. So I'm going to use, I don't know, a mix or maybe one of these ribbons and I will see, again, I haven't been in my new classroom yet. I was doing a lot of this stuff blind. So I just kind of bought what I knew that I would enjoy. And when I get in there, I'll have to tweak a few things and change it up. Uh, so I'm gonna use the ribbon and the clothespins to hang student work. And I always like to make a big sign, so let me show you that. Sorry, I'm like drowning in stuff right here. So much for being minimal, right? I got this just basic white poster. You can see it from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I like to put in the middle of it, I'll print. Actually, no, I won't need to print. I bought some letters, so I'll just use those. I like to put the phrase refrigerator worthy student work. And so I will hang this by those ribbons with the clothespins uh, so that the students feel like that someone's putting their work on the fridge, <laughs> that it's nice. All right, so as I look around, I think I'm at the bottom of my pile. It was a lot of essentials. Oh, I've got like index cards here. Again, some basic stuff. I think, I think my lesson from all of this I don't know, maybe I'm not the right person to say it, but I think we think we have to go out and get everything all at once. This is me starting with nothing. Even though I've been teaching a long time, this is me coming back with nothing. These are the things that I have chosen that I would want to have in my classroom. Um, just a lot of basic supplies and a few decor things. You don't have to go overboard. Uh, a lot of, honestly, the decor things were things that I like that's gonna make my teacher station feel nice to me. And that helps uplift your spirits on the days when the, the school year gets long and the students are struggling with behavior or you're just worn out. Um, oh, I forgot one of my more important things that a lot of teachers forget to buy. So I had to get one of these. A broom. So a lot of teachers assume that the janitors will keep your rooms clean. And amaz a lot of janitors do amazing jobs, but they're just overwhelmed, overworked, understaffed. And often, like sometimes we would come in in the morning and they, were, they weren't able to get to our room or clean it. I like to have a broom to be able to sweep up between classes. So it is really nice to have your own broom. And honestly, a lot of teachers would come and borrow my broom <laughs> to then go clean their classroom because 
it's not something you think about, but I just wanted to throw that in there. I just got a basic broom from Target and make sure to put your name on it with a Sharpie because it will get passed around. Um, but yeah, I think that's the end of, of my haul. Uh, what I am resting my hand on right behind me, that was another kind of splurge, but this was something we needed as a family. We needed a printer. So my kids, my son is starting middle school this year. My middle two are in elementary and then my youngest son is in a, um, a care center. So we needed a printer with all of my kids, you know, and their school assignments, et cetera. But also as a new teacher, I will need a printer. So, <laughs> so that's a printer we got from Costco. They have really good deals on theirs. They had this one marked down, it was like $50 off. So we got that and they have good uh, prices on the refills of ink too. So yeah. I think that's everything guys. If you don't know me, I don't even think I introduced myself in the beginning. My name's Morgan, um, mama four. Now I'm gonna be a teacher again. Thank you for sitting through this. If you made it to the end of this, you are amazing. I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content uh, now that I'm going back to teaching. It will be centered around teaching. Some of it will be family life, but definitely check back in. I wanna see you guys. Bye everyone.